Hello, everybody. I'm Brian Phillips. I'm the Director of Sales and Marketing for Five Lakes Dental Practice Solutions. And we're a proud uh, sponsor and endorsed by the, the TDA Perch Program. And today I want to share with you some information on what to do with UCR, the, your office fees, especially as we get into 2024. So over the next few minutes, I want to go through a couple slides and talk to you a little bit about the the why we need to address UCR every year, how should we go about doing it, the actions that we need to take, and then with the partnership with the TDA Perks Program, we have an offer for you as well. So let's dive in and talk a little bit about why do we even need to update the UCR? And more importantly, why do we need to update it every year? One of the things that we've learned over the years, and Five Lakes has been around for about 13 years now, is that UCR sometimes is underestimated or it's kind of neglected and not always updated on a regular basis. But there are a number of factors that really play into why your fee schedule should look the way it is. And everyone runs different practices for different reasons. We have different structures, but there are a number of key data sets, key factors that influence the, the UCR. So why do we update it? Number one, which we all know about right now, especially over the past you know, two years or so, is inflation. I mean, prices, the cost of living have gone, gone up significantly. That means the cost to run a dental practice has also gone up significantly. You know, not just with rent and utilities, but, you know, salaries, supplies, they all come into play. So we need to address our internal UCR fee schedule. Also, Think about the competition. Like, where do you sit in comparison to your peers in the marketplace? You know, are do you have an understanding of where and how they price their services, where the UCR is for, for those organizations? What about say compensation? Now, compensation is kind of unique. You know, the you know, every doctor, you know, runs a business. And you know, we, we do want to make sure that there's fair compensation because there are investments made throughout the year, you know, such as you know, CE, it might be buying new equipment, uh, what have you. It, it might be training, but we need to keep making sure that we are fairly compensated, as well as you know, many times, you know, associate compensation might be based on you know certain factors. So we have to make sure we're staying up on this. Now Going into negotiations, this is a key area. Many payers, if we're in, you know, participating with PPOs, many payers will utilize the current UCR, the, the professional fee schedule at the office, as a benchmark for the beginning of negotiations. So we want to make sure that we're kind of keeping up with that uh, every year at the right level. I know it can get a little tedious, you know, to, to keep up with this, and there's Fear, like what does this look like to our patients, and especially our patients who are who are cash based? Um, but we have to run effective businesses, so we want to make sure we're staying on UCR. Compliance comes in uh, to to certain situations. Transparency with patients is, is huge, and transparency and trust kind of go hand in hand. You know, I've heard practices that have not adjusted UCR in you know five six years or even two or three years, and then are really behind the eight ball. And what happens is we they, all of a sudden they need to make a large uh, increase, a big jump, you know, 20%, 30%, so, something like that, which could be a shock. Now, we want to make sure we're, we're very transparent with our patients, and we want to make sure that we have their trust by, you know, if we are continuously updating incrementally every year, staying with the cost of living, staying with an effective and profitable business, then our patients are there and they understand they're, they're not going to get surprised. Um, they, they can respect the professionalism of doing so. I mean, it's, it's a necessary part of the business. Now, key to all of this is the, the overall financial stability of the practice. The UCR is, is the benchmark. That's the menu, the prices. So we need to make sure that we are constantly looking at this to make sure that we are putting ourselves in the best position. But when, when we talk a little bit about why, now, what usually gets uh, practices a little bit stuck is how do you actually do this? 
you know, do we just go off of some general recommendation from, yeah, uh, from some organization? Do we just randomly just kind of pick the number out of uh, out of thin air? Do we just kind of incrementally bump it up? But there is some strategy behind it. So let's dive into that a little bit. The the how to update your UCR. This is going to get into a number of areas, and of course, there are many other areas that that need to be considered. But first, let's look at practice data. You know, this is this is the information that's housed in your practice management system, such as you know the your production, your utilization. You know, what what codes and services are you using? Do you have do you have a good idea? Because if you think about this in terms of the type of practice that you're running, the type of coding that you are doing, do we want to make sure that we are taking advantage of the areas to address? in priority you know are 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 the codes that we are doing most often are they in the most effective area how do we look amongst our peers in that in in that realm now again we have to consider the inflation so when we're looking to decide how to do this and how to adjust the number what what should it be you know we have to understand you know has inflation affected us and and when is the last time that we have actually addressed these these fees? Do we have to look at 10%, 12%, 8%? Do we have to consider looking at this maybe more than once a year type thing? So obviously considering inflation is, is, is very, very important here. Competitor pricing. That's an area where if we start looking at, and I'm going to potentially jump ahead here a little bit. If we start looking to see where do we compare? Are we amongst, do we compare ourselves amongst the the, the middle uh, of, of the pack, if you will? Are we the the higher end pricing? Are we the, you know, more of the um, higher volume uh, price sets? How, how does that look? And understanding where your peers, your competitors in, in the market, where they are set is going to play, play an enormous impact. These elements are going to come to the point where this is what we're going to use to decide where we set our fees. Mark conditions, obviously, that that's that's a huge one, and you know we we all know that there are markets, regions in 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 the states that are flourishing, that are growing like crazy, and the opposite might be might be true as well. There are areas where maybe there's a decline, people are moving out, uh, maybe maybe there's been a you know a, a workforce issue there there are conditions that affect your geographic area in your market that we're going to have to consider here when, when we're looking at this demographics demographics are huge when, when you look at this and this is something where this is probably the area that gets neglected the most it's it's you know what what does the demographics of my community look like now but also where is it going to be in the next couple of years do i have a younger more transient type of uh, community do i have a uh, the affluence is it, is it is it younger people is is it more of a retirement community all of these areas you know when you look at it in terms of like socioeconomics have an impact on dental consumption which also means that has an impact on how you go about setting your fees in the first place obviously margins the profit uh, profitability of the practice is, is hugely important are we able to make the investments are we able to hire the staff that we need? Are we able to pay competitive rates and maintain a financially prudent business? Margin comes into play is just another major factor in, de in determining how we update these fees. Industry sources, I'm going to take a second here and, and focus in on industry sources. There are many um, sources out there that, that can help give us some guidance. There are are sources that have been around for many years that may have, um, you know, lost favor uh, with, with the community, and there are newer sources that have been updated over the years. But what Five Lakes does is we we work with Fair Health, and Fair Health is an organization that actually reports actual claims data. It represents about seventy to seventy five percent of all claims in the United States. So information that we're going to look at is to benchmark is really based off of claims data. There are many ways to benchmark your pricing, your, your fee schedules. We recommend going with the Fair Health data. That, that comes with a cost, but it also is a data set. Um, analyzing it is really where it becomes more, more important. And again, we've got to re review utilization. What type of dentistry do you perform? 
what is you know are are you more in the uh you know uh preventative uh type spaces you know how do you compare really understanding what type of dentistry and where you're getting your your volume of coding will will really come into come into play here you pull all of these factors together and put them you know in, into place through an analysis it takes some time and and effort to really do this but if this is an annual, if not every six months or so evaluation, this will allow your practice to know that you are in the most effective position in terms of your professional fee schedule within your competitive market. So now that we know what, why we want to address UCR and how we go about it, all the things that we need to evaluate, we have to make a decision. So we have to come up with what are the new fees. So what are we going to address? What is the the 150 going to look like this year? What's the, you know, 1110? The, the, once those decisions are made, then what we need to do is start implementing it. That begins with a review with the staff, of course, to make sure everyone's on the same page, know when we've made adjustments, and look into the fact that there may have been um, patients with a who have been presented a case that might need to be updated, those type of things were really come into play, but identifying and and alerting the staff, you know, to, together will will help make that a smoother process. Of course, we got to actually do the work, so we have to update the billing systems, the practice management systems, and make sure that the information is accurate because we do want to be billing full UCR fee for everything, all our claims, and you know, updating the system is going to be paramount. We want to make sure that that it's accurate and it's up to date. Now. Where we don't want to take our eye off the ball is the fact that we need to continuously monitor this. So over the past couple of years, it has gone from a recommendation to, to update every year to at least look at it every six months and make any adjustments. You may not need to, to make incremental changes in the middle of the year, but as we look at going into 2024, we want to take a more strategic approach to this, understand the why, understand the how, and then implement but make sure we're continuously monitoring, make sure that there's no factors in your marketplace that are going to necessitate, um, you know, changing your fee schedules and make sure that we adjust at appropriately. So together between the, the, the TDA perch program and five lakes, we put together a program to really push this through as a state association you know, we really want to make sure that the practices are in the healthiest position possible. And with Five Lakes, we have identified an opportunity to review this as we head into 2024. We're in a good spot right now where we are, you know, beginning the fourth quarter. You know, we're, we're looking at between now and the end of the year doing a full breakdown analysis for members of the association, you know, enjoying benefits from the perks program to do some of this work on your behalf. That, that means evaluating those factors, identifying the demographics, pulling the production, really understanding utilization, uh, evaluating current fee schedules, looking at how and why to make the changes evaluating against the fair health data that Five Lakes would employ and providing to you a full UCR analysis. That's a code by code recommendation on how to address this, putting you in the best possible position so that you can run an effective business, you can be in the better position to negotiate with insurance, and so that you're able to, to run a profitable, healthy business from today and moving forward. If anyone is looking to get started to talk more about this, please reach out to Five Lakes. You can see the email address on the on the presentation, sales at fivelakespro.com and have a conversation. Get started for a low investment of $499 and put yourself in a great position to start 2024 off in the right spot. Thank you very much and talk to you soon.